I've been cooking up builds like a mad scientist to bring you a build that will be both fun and forgiving to play for you regardless of your current skill level. This is best tank build in Nobody Saves the World. Hi, I'm Daniel Friendly in the game Viking and in today's video I will show you what is in my opinion the best hybrid tank and pet build. A build that will let you deal with legendary dungeons and other challenges with all the wards like they are a walk in the park. Well not that kind of park please. So this build with slight variations will handle all the blunt wards, sharp wards and dark wards and light wards. But also let you feel you are in control in a situation like this. That is a lot of enemies. I can hardly see myself there. So let's introduce the stars of the video. Mr. Turtle. If you already guessed that based on this video thumbnail, give yourself a high five. You made Splinter happy. So why not base it on the necromancer or even that creepy magician that you last saw at your cousin's birthday party? First of all, that would be less fun. And just comparing them side by side, both the necromancer and the magician beat the turtle on almost all accounts. Except for the turtle's signature skill, the hell shell. And we'll talk more about that in a second. And we don't want to sacrifice a passive slot for boosting the movement speed. I'm looking at you, necromancer. So why pick the turtle? Its tanky playstyle gives you a lot of room for mistakes in important fights. It has the signature ability that I really like, especially if you're going to face a boss fight with multiple minions. The hell shell makes you move around like a pinball all while it recharges your mana when you slam through a group of enemies. This also becomes our blunt ward breaker. That is a 2 for 1 in this one. The bunnies, aka the hat trick, is there for the sharp damage and ward breaking. The white tiger is a gift from Siegfried and Roy, so let, just let it run free. The summon demon is also a ward breaker to add some dark damage. And you can switch out any of these two depending on what dungeon you are facing. When we need a light breaking ward breaker, I always go with the skill water spray. And to give you that extra tanky playstyle when you're in a tight spot during a fight, slow and steady to build up a defense buff. Make sure you keep that one up to max whenever you need it. Passives, we have the signature we can't chain, the quick charge to reduce the charge time for abilities, scavenge to get some mana back from health items. If you run dungeons with no big final boss, you can switch it out for horsepower if you aim to break more pots and other interior. Third is one you can pick and choose after your own play style. For this one I picked Poison Dampers. It's our first encounter the Secret Corporation. Contains a lot of enemies with poison damage. You can change that for more movement speed or any other skill, but not the Monk's Smite. I will tell you why a bit later. And lastly, the Blood Pack that gives familiars healing for all the damage you do. And now for the fun part, let's show you how to play it. And a fair warning, the boss fights are a bit chaotic, but a perfect example of how forgiving this build is. Let's take on the secret corporation and the legendary dungeon that holds enemies with both blunt wards and sharp wards. Bad damage is up to 1.2 and of course status duration is times 5. So 5 times the poison damage and slow duration. Just your everyday life as a turtle if you ask me. Right into the dungeon, our main focus is to maintain shield, break wards with our default attack, and spawn rabbits and tigers for that sharp ward breaking, and then some demons to add a good mix of attack variation. It will rain money and health, so the only negative status effect we face is the 5 times movement speed penalty, and sadly, our pets will get poisoned. So let's tackle the boss. This infested crab with spike clubs will move around and spawn minions. So as Captain Picard would say, raise the shields, spawn your pets and make sure to break the blunt ward so your familiars can get to work. Keep an eye out for the health drops to rebuild some mana and you will manage to, with your defense buff, take a lot of beating and still win. It will get hectic, so I can't mention this enough, make sure to have your shield buff up to max. Otherwise, things will end up like this, instead of this. Perhaps right about now you're thinking, yeah, that is cool, but what happens when you need to break light wards and just have half the amount of pets? Fear not, let's have a look, and I can promise you it will be as much fun and safe to play. I sent the demons on vacation and equipped the water splash skill, and with our shield buffs and abilities to slam into enemies with a hell shell, we act as a support and ward breaker so our pets can have a field day with the enemies. I have so much fun playing this build since the more enemies I face the more mayhem it becomes, all while never really losing control of the fight. So 
Is there any challenges with the build? Well, it can be a slow starter, for example, when you take on Dragon Ruler Alcazar's legendary dungeon. There is both Dark Wards and Light Wards to break, so we will start the dungeon without any pets. We can't rebuild mana with a signature hit, but instead get 300 mana from breaking wards. So we have to kill the first enemies ourselves. I know, <laughs> it's crazy that we have to get our turtle paws dirty, but after that it's back to the usual combat. Break the wards, here you can break enemy dark ward even without minions, spawn our lovely demon minions, run free puppet of doom, huh? and keep our shields up. I know, I'm repeating myself. Not even the final boss can argue with that setup, and we are soon master of another dungeon. So what do you think about this build? Do you have any other build you would like me to try out? Drop a comment below. So why do you not want to use the Monk Smite skill as a ward breaker? First of all, it will fire at random with a really low percentage to fire at all and leave you in awkward situation like this. Hey, it's me again, Dan, your friendly indie game viking. If you like this video, I have another video coming up that I think you will really enjoy. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome.